Do you use the auditing standards? <laughs> Every single day. <laughs> So I'm, I'm, I'm in office today, actually, but uh, on my desk uh, is my IFRA standards and my right. auditing standards as well. So you, when you're a student, when you read it, it doesn't make sense. Uh, and you try to, 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 to visualize yeah. what it is you're trying to do yeah. when you're reading certain things. But when you're in practice, it actually, you'll be surprised with the amount of... of, of, uh, of it's the like standards. a daily manual. Yeah. Exactly. And, and as you exactly. say, it's, it's, it's quite fascinating. You're taking something completely new but it's not like there's a cryptocurrency standard auditing standard. So you're taking something exactly. that's written for a whole bunch of stuff and you're able to use it to apply it yeah. to something, you know, that, that, that didn't exist. Cause you're right. One of the struggles that I have is a lot of my students are like, well, auditing standards aren't practical or nobody really uses them or um, <clears throat> so, so it's good to know yeah. that you've got yours sitting on, <laughs> sitting on the side of the desk <laughs> yeah, it is. You, more you, than just a paperweight. Right like I was literally sitting with a conversation yesterday uh, and I um, was dealing with a client that had a intangible asset, cryptocurrency as an intangible asset because that's one of the areas that fits in. So we were chatting about the impairment of it. And um, I said, but you look at the, the various, they say the various purchase of cryptocurrencies are all those purchases adding up to a total. That's the intangible asset. When you test for impairment, do you test it on an aggregate basis or do you mm. test the individual line items? And um, the IFRS experts that I spoke to, they said, yo, but you have to look at the, uh, the, the cash generating unit. Mm. But then I, I said, well, just remember, or the smallest cash generating unit, and I, I specifically read the, mm, the uh, mm. but it talk, spoke about the group of assets on the definition of a cash yeah. generating unit. Yes, yes. But then I said to the IFRS expert, but just remember, cryptocurrency doesn't generate cash. It's not, no, it's no fruit and tree principle no. here. It's just an no. asset that, that's no. involved for speculative purposes. So she's like, oh, okay. Okay, so it's not the, CGU. Thank you to, to, to global IFRS group. So tomorrow morning, I'm sitting with all the IFRS experts in South Africa to, to, to hear what the, yeah. the opinion is okay. on that and to see whether you um, do the impairment assessment on an individual basis or on a group basis. Yeah. But, and, and just small, small things like that, for example, every single day you get to a point and you think, hmm, geez, I haven't thought about it. Let's go to the standard. And I've never thought in my life I'd be reading my um Voluntarily. My that much. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. So I've still, I've still got my standards with me. I've still got my flags at the back here. I've actually, there's my, my tax textbooks there. I've got my oh, uh, wow. my group statements as well. So mm. everything is still, you still use it on a, on, yeah. a, on a daily basis. It's yeah. flagged from when I was a student. So you still use it every single day and you'll be surprised how much you use it, especially in an audit environment mm. where you deal with very technical matters as opposed to a financial manager, which is more, uh, maybe focus on the operational side of the business as opposed mm. to the financial mm. side of the business.